Hello, kiddos. It's Miss Silver here again um, with another read aloud. Um, today is Monday, June 1st. Yes, I cannot believe it is June 1st. Um, it feels like summer outside. We only have a few more weeks of school. And by now you should have settled into a routine and you're reading every day. And I want you to kind of think about how you're going to incorporate that every day into your summer routine, even after school gets out. So um, make a plan where each day you sit down and make sure you're practicing your reading and somebody can read to you too. So we want to keep that going all summer long. So today the book I have for you is called You Get What You Get. It's by Julie Glassman um, and it's illustrated by Sarah Horns. So if you look at the cover, what do you think is going on on the cover? Um, here we have our main character, I'm guessing. And how do you think he's feeling? And what do you think is happening in this picture? So kind of ask yourself this before we get reading. Let's go to the next page. To my dad, Amos, you get what you get, and I'm so thankful I got you. Melvin did not deal well with disappointment. If his cookie had half as many chocolate chips as his sister's, look out. If he lost his turn during a game, Stand back. And if he didn't get exactly what he wanted, well, you know. Sorry, Melvin. They were out of dinosaur backpacks. No, Melvin did not deal well with disappointment. And this is why he hated his teacher's favorite rule. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. I know we've all heard that before. Because of this rule, Melvin could not throw a fit if he had to use crayons instead of markers. He could not throw a fit if he ended up last in line. He couldn't even throw a fit if his napkin was pink instead of green. Oh, well, mumbled Melvin. At least I can still throw a fit at home. My family doesn't know a thing about that terrible rule. But that night, when it was Melvin's turn to choose the movie, things changed. As soon as he'd chosen Dinosaur Rumble, his sister stomped her foot and whined. But I want to watch A Pony Called Trouble! Too bad. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit, said Melvin. Everyone stopped and looked at Melvin. What did you say? asked Dad. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit, repeated Melvin. So, if your cookie only has a few chocolate chips, you shouldn't throw a fit? asked his sister. And if you lose a turn during a game, you shouldn't throw a fit? asked his dad. And if the dinosaur backpacks are all sold out, you should be happy with the robot one. And you absolutely should not throw a fit? asked his mom. Melvin gulp. There was no way to take it back. Everyone knew. Well, I mean, at school you shouldn't throw a fit, because that's the rule, but at home you can, he said. I think that sounds like a good rule for at home, too, said Dad. I agree, said Mom. Home and school, that's the rule, his sister chanted. Melvin wanted to cry. 
He wanted to shout. He wanted to lie down on the ground and throw his arms and legs about. But he didn't. After all, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. A pony called trouble. They ended up watching what his sister wanted to and he didn't end up throwing a fit. So I'm sure there's times when you felt like throwing a fit, um, but you realized it doesn't help you out and sometimes you just don't get, you don't always get what you want. So I hope you enjoyed this story. Um, next to me right here, I have my puppy. He always likes to sit next to me when I'm reading my stories. Um, just think about maybe what was your favorite part of the story. Um, and maybe you could talk to someone in your family about the book that we, the book that I just read to you and talk about the lessons you've learned from this story. So I hope you have a good rest of your week and I will see you soon.